So, Barry, what are we going to do today? I don't know. Well, I have an idea for some cool chemical experiments. Would you like to see them? It wouldn't only be interesting, but also very informative. You can learn a lot of things about the world. Ah, oh, that sounds really good. Come on, let's do some experiments, human. I want to see all sorts of different experiments, okay? Okay, Barry. So, hello everyone. Barry's going to explain why we're so strangely dressed, but before that, we want to thank you for the comments that you leave under our videos. Barry and I read them all. So, come on, tell the guys why we're dressed like this. Well, that's because we're going to be doing chemical experiments, and these things need to be done only with special protective clothing. That's right, Barry. By the way, if you guys want to try it at home, be sure to do it in the presence of adults and also with their permission. All right, let's get started. Yes, right, but first I have to put on my gloves because I'm going to work with my hands and they have to be protected too. So, here are my gloves. And for the first experiment, we're going to need dye, a flask, some water and hydrogen peroxide. I'm pouring the water into the flask and adding some colour. Wow, that's a beautiful colour. It's so blue, just like, just like the sky. And now we're adding hydrogen peroxide. As well as another ingredient, a secret one, a special drain cleaning liquid. I'm pouring it and oh, look what's happening in the flask, Barry. the blue gone, human. The water was blue just a second ago. Yeah, that's a chemical reaction. It's because we added alkali to the water, and the dye contains substances that dissolve in it, so the water just became transparent again. Awesome science! Chemistry! Human, human, if you pour dye onto a cotton swab, will that still work? Well, yes, Barry, the reaction will happen even if you accidentally spill the dye on your clothes. Thus, you can easily get rid of a stain. Let's try it out. OK, come on, come on, come on. Let's drop some dye on these cotton pads. You interested, Barry? You bet I am. Let's add a few drops of hydrogen peroxide on top. OK, like this. Look, guys, the spot's turning blue. And now some liquid drain cleaner. Wow, so cool. If you also think that this is an awesome experiment, give us a like. So, Barry, this is how alkali reacts. And where I've touched it with a stick, the spot's completely gone. Isn't that cool? Cool, cool, human. As cool as candy. Oh, what are these little cups for experiments? Show me. Oh, this is a very interesting experiment. Show me, show me, show me, show me. Well, careful, don't jump on the table. You could break something. And there are a lot of reagents here. So, uh, for this experiment, we need some juice of dark colour, like a cherry or grape juice. Let's pour the same amount into each cup and add different ingredients, like this. Done. Now I take a regular teaspoon and add some soda to the first cup. Look, Barry, it's a fizzy water now, almost like Coca-Cola. But obviously you mustn't drink it. Cool. I want to participate in your experiments now. Now, I'm going to clean up everything here. Oh, thanks, Barry. Now, let's put vinegar in the next cup. You guys can probably find some in your kitchen because it's often used in cooking. Like this. Ugh, that's a pungent smell. And here, we're going to put some ammonia. Oh, look, it looks like the juice is darkened. What are we going to add to the fourth cup, human? Let's add something to make it go boom and make an amazing chemical reaction. No, we're not going to boom anything today. Let's just see what happens if we put some drain cleaner in there. Well, OK, but uh, carefully. I'm going to stir now and look, a residue started to form. What a horribly strange thing, human. There are pieces of something swimming in it. Ugh. So, sodas made the grape juice turn into a pop, and the vinegar made it a little bright, but almost imperceptibly, and the ammonia made it darken, and the drain cleaner did something very strange to our juice. I don't know what it might be like. Do you have any ideas, friends? Human, hey, 
Hey, human, I found a candle here, but we're conducting chemical experiments. Why do we need it? Oh, it's good you brought that. Now I'm going to show you how to put out a candle without blowing or touching it with your hand, and without even moving the candle. Nah, that can't be right. You must be joking. I'm not, Barry. You're about to see it with your own eyes. First, we need ordinary soda. We've already used it in previous experiments. I pour it into a bowl like this and add some vinegar. Stop, stop, human. What is it? You forgot to wear gloves. You can't do experiments without gloves. Oh, right, yeah. Well done, Barry. Thank you. Guys, never forget about protection when you're working with reagents. I'll put on my gloves. Here they are. All right, I'm adding the vinegar. And a chemical reaction immediately begins in the bowl. It's hissing, look. Now, look what happens to the fire. Huh. Wow, how's that? But why? Well, when mixing soda and vinegar, carbon dioxide is released, which blows out our fire. If I light a match and put it down in a bowl, you see, that went out too. Whoa, human, you're a real wizard. No, Barry, no magic, just chemistry. Sandwiches, I want sandwiches. Let's take a bite. After all these experiments, I'm terribly hungry. I have a better idea, Barry. Let's use this bread in one of our chemical experiments. But hey, that's my bread. Well, if you want to know whether a product such as bread contains starch, you can conduct the following experiment. This will require a large bowl. But I just wanted a sandwich. Well, it's just in the name of science, Barry. Let's pour some cold water and in a separate container a few drops of iodine. Now let's soak this bread in water. My future sandwich! What did you do to it? Well, the bread contained starch and it got into the water. And now I take the iodine and add it to the water. Look, it's turned black. This is an interesting chemical reaction that can be useful if you want to know whether a certain product contains starch or not. OK, you're right. That is a cool experiment. Now, if I need a lot of black water, I know how to get it. But I still feel sorry for the bread. I could have eaten it. Ah, you little jelly glutton. Listen, human, you showed me how to put out a fire without even touching it. But can you do it the other way round? Like, make a fire in the same way? Like, uh, puff, and it's burning. Can you? Is there a chemical reaction of some sort? Um, yeah, I guess I can show you something similar. So, look, Barry, and you guys too. We're going to need a container, so I got a glass and hydrogen peroxide. We pour a little bit of it just to cover the bottom like this, and a little bit more. That's probably enough. And add some potassium permanganate. Now a reaction will begin. The peroxide is foaming and hissing and there are black bubbles appearing on its surface. But if you're going to repeat this experiment at home, guys, don't lean over the glass too low. See that white smoke rising above it? Well, where's the fire, human? I want fire. You promised me fire. Hold on, Barry. I light up the stick like this. Now I beat down the flame a little so that it's a little smaller. And I lower the stick into the glass. Whoa! It burst! Whoa! Did you see it, guys? Did you? Well, I think today's series was very informative and interesting. We saw many things. Carbon dioxide, colour change, clarification. What do you think, Barry? Did you like the chemical experiments we did today? Yes, yes, human. It was so cool. Let's do it again sometime. Or better yet, let's do other cool experiments. You probably know a whole bunch of different ones. Well, of course, we can do other chemical experiments in other episodes. And you guys, if you also know any cool experiments, tell us about them in the comments below, and we'll try to repeat them. Right, Barry? Right, right, human. I will soon understand chemistry as well as you do, or maybe even better, because I am, well, you know, the smartest bear in the world, and the most handsome. Guys, guys, do you like my costume? By the way, be sure to subscribe to our channel, the button's at the bottom, and uh, give us some likes too. And the bell, don't forget about the bell. That's right. And please write me comments, friends. This is very, very important for me. Right, goodbye everyone. See you later, friends.